morning students my name is anila i am your math teacher okay children uh, i hope everyone completed till the exercise 3 it is very easy problems okay i think everyone completed your class work also yes yes or not yes i hope everyone completed next we are going to start new topic that is in chapter 5 fractions and properties okay in this we are going to start a new topic that is already you know in previous class we learned that topic okay the continuation of the topic is exterior angle of a triangle exterior uh, angle of a triangle so what is the meaning of exterior and interior angles in previous class are already i told yes in previous chapter i told what is the meaning of exterior and what is the meaning of interior already i explained okay so today we are going to start a new topic that is exterior angle of a triangle everyone open your textbook that is page number 103 chapter 5 triangles and its properties okay children so once uh, look at your textbook so what is the meaning of exterior angle of a triangle so this is the property not definition okay exterior angle of a triangle so exterior angle of a triangle So write neatly and maintain neatness in your classwork. Okay, children. So what is the meaning of exterior of a triangle? Already you know. For example, this triangle is there like this. A B C. So triangle A B C C will be extended. Okay. So it will be extended point. So here they are given. Here one angle is given. Here two angle is given. Angle two. Angle three. And this is there are given angle four or five angle is given. So here which angles are exterior, which angles are interior? Angle one, angle two. Inside the triangle is there. So that's why they are called as interior of a triangle. Interior angles of a triangle. So this is outside is there. Yes. So that's why this angle is known as exterior angle. So these are the interior angles. This is exterior angle. Okay, clear, children? So, so what is the exterior angle of a triangle? Angle Y is the exterior angle of a triangle. So, what is the property of exterior angle property? So now we want that only. Okay, exterior angle property is angle one plus angle two. It should be is equal to angle five. Is that right? It should be is equal to angle five. It may be extended to the end point that is D. Okay. So angle one plus angle two is equal to angle five. So clear, children. So this can be written as angle A plus angle B is equal to angle A C D. Don't write directly angle C. Angle C is divided. Yes. So angle A C D. Angle A C D is called as exterior angle. So what you understood about this uh, the definition? What you understood about this definition? So the exterior angle is equal to sum of opposite sides of the interior angles. Sum of interior angles of the opposite sides. Yes, clear, children, everyone. So first you have to uh, we got idea about what is mean by interior and what is mean by exterior. Interior means inside of a triangle. Inside angles of a triangle is known as interior angles. So exterior means outside of outside angles are known as outside angles of a triangle is known as exterior angle. Okay, clear children? So angle one plus angle two is equal to angle five. This is known as exterior property. This is called as exterior property. So angle A plus angle three is equal to angle A C D. So this is known as exterior property. So what you understood here? The exterior angle is equal to the sum of two interior angles of your opposite side of your triangle ABC. So this is exterior angle. So sum of these two interior angles. These are the opposite side of exterior angle. Yes. So clear understood everyone. So this is known as exterior angles. Property, exterior angle property. In exercise four, we are using this property only. Okay, and you have to remember one more point also that is, for example, in triangle PQR, in triangle PQR, 
PQ length is equal to PR length. PQ length is equal to PR length. So definitely opposite angles also equal to each other. If these two are equal, any two sides are equal in a triangle PQR, the opposite angles also equal to each other. That means angle Q is equal to angle R. So got idea about this one children everyone? If any two sides of a triangle PQR, then opposite angles also equal to each other. So PQ is equal to PR. So that means angle Q is equal to angle R. Opposite angles also equal to each other. Angle P is equal, angle Q is equal to angle R. So these two concepts are we are using in exercise 4. Okay children, which properties we are using? Exterior property. So what is the exterior property? For exterior angle it should be is equal to sum of two interior angles of a triangle which are opposite sides. Yes? So which are opposite to exterior angle. You have to remember these two points. Definitely you will get all problems in exercise 4. Okay children? So look at your textbook. And one more property also we can show that. So look at your textbook. Exercise uh, page number 105. Page number 105. In that example level, look at once. So show that the sum of interior angle of triangle ABC is 360 degrees. They are asking, show that the exterior angle of a triangle ABC is equal to 360 degrees. They are asking. So yeah, we need to find this one. What they are saying, sum of exterior angle of a triangle ABC is 360 degrees. So we draw triangle ABC. Okay. So triangle ABC and it is having exterior angles. So ABC triangle ABC. Once look at your textbook only. So I will explain how it is possible. So triangle ABC A will be extended till the point B and B will be extended till the point E. Okay children. Next, F, C will be extended in the point F. So already in this we know this is exterior angle. This is exterior and here this is exterior and here this is exterior. Okay, clear children? Interior, this, which angles are there? This is interior angles. 4, 5, 6. These are the interior angles. So what they are show, what they are asking, we need to prove sum of all exterior angles it should be equal to 360 degrees. We need to So that means you, you have to observe in this diagram. So here sum of all interior which are which are interior angles, which are exterior angles, we got idea. Yes, angle 1, angle 2, angle 3. These are the exterior angles. Outside of the triangles are there. So next Interior means angle 4, angle 5, angle 6. Okay, clear? These are the interior angles. Next, what we need to prove? Sum of exterior angles is equal to 360 degrees. Sum of all exterior. So, 1 plus, 2 plus, 3. These are the exterior angles. It should be equal to 360 degrees. We need to prove. Okay? So, first observe this total diagram. Here in uh, how many lines are there? So observe, this is one straight line. They are considered C D as a straight line and A E as a straight line and B F is a straight line. Yes or no? So we are considered like that only. So this is here linear way form. Yes or no? Because this is straight line. So here linear way form and here also linear way form and here also linear way form. Okay, clear children? So, observe, first I am assuming like, so CD as a straight line, CD as a straight line, CD and one more, CD and AE, AE and next, which line? BF, these are the straight lines, are the straight lines, so straight lines. In straight line, so angle 2 plus angle 4 is equal to 180 degrees because it forms a linear pair. And, and next, angle 3 plus angle 
5 forms a linear pair. Next, angle 1 plus angle 3 is 180 degrees. It forms a linear pair. Yes or not? So, in this, we have to substitute. So, angle 2 plus angle 4 plus we, we, are, uh, we are taking total triangle, okay? Exterior plus interior, okay? So, angle 2 plus angle 4. Next, angle 3 plus angle 5. Angle 3 plus angle 5. Next, angle 6 plus angle 1. It should be is equal to. This forms a linear pair, yes or not? So, angle 2 plus angle 4 is equal to how much? 180 degrees. Next, here we are taking interior plus exterior angles of a triangle ABC, okay? Next, so 180. Angle 3 plus angle 5 is nothing but 180 degrees. Next, angle five plus, angle 6 plus angle 1 is nothing but 180 degrees. So, clear children? So, angle here we ask uh, angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3. Okay? So, write in order. Angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3. Here. Next, angle 4 plus angle 5 plus angle 6. It should be equal to 180 plus 180 plus 180. How much? This is 180 plus 180 is nothing but 360. 360 plus 180 is nothing but 540. Okay? So 540 degrees. So we, we need to prove angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degrees. We know the exterior angles. Okay? So keep like that only. 1 plus 2 plus 3. But we know this angle 4 plus angle 5 plus angle 6 we know so because angle sum property angle sum property is what sum of all angles in a triangle is it should be equal to 180 degrees so that's why in place of angle 4 plus angle 5 plus angle 6 you can substitute 180 degrees okay clear children it should be equal to 540 degrees so angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to this will transpose to that side minus 180 degrees. So angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 360 degrees. So clear children? So it should be equal to 360 degrees. Hence prove yes, sum of exterior angles in a triangle is 360 degrees. Yes, we got hands through. Clear children, everyone, this is most important. It is there in your textbook also. Why we are choosing angle 2 plus angle 4 is equal to 180 degrees? Because they need a pair. And 3 plus 5 also like that only. And 1 plus 6 also like that only we are choosing. And in place of angle 4 plus 5 plus 6 is nothing but why we are choosing 180 degrees. And we are using angle sum property. Sum of all angles in a triangle should be equal to 180 degrees. So clear children everyone, this is most important, it is useful in exercise 4 and further classes also, it is very important. Next we are going to start exercise 4, everyone open your textbook exercise 4, page number that is in your textbook page number 106, look at your textbook, exercise 4, first problem, what they are asking? Simple, in triangle ABC, name all interior and exterior angles of your triangle. Already you know what is mean by interior and what is mean by exterior already you know. You have to do it this one. Next, second question, for triangle ABC, find the measures of angle ECD. So, here, here the simple logic we are using in this. So, in triangle ABC, in triangle ABC, C point is extended till the D. Okay, and A is also extended. Oh, sorry, A is not extended here. A, B, C, and C point is extended. This is, and next, this angle is given 66, and this angle is given 45 degrees. Okay, clear children. Here we need to find angle A, C, D. A, C, D. So, in this triangle, already we got idea, yes. We got idea about this problem. Yes, which property we are using? Which property we are using here? Exterior angle property. Yes, exterior angle property. For exterior is there, two interiors are there. Okay, clear children? So, angle A, C, D is nothing but, this is nothing but exterior angle. Yes, A, C, D. And A, C, D from the exterior property use exterior property. Exterior angle property. 
So exterior angle property is nothing but one exterior is equal to that is M A C D is equal to and A C D is equal to sum of two interiors. Here is two interiors which are two interiors 66 degrees and 45 degrees are the interior angles. So sum of two interiors that is M A plus M B. Yes children, so understood which property we are using? Exterior angle property we are using. So exterior angle is equal to sum of two interior angles. So exterior angle is what we don't know. We need to find exterior angle only. So keep like that only. And we is what 66 degrees. And B is what 45 degrees. So 66 plus 45 is nothing but 66 plus 45 is nothing but 111 degrees. Okay, clear children. So 6 plus 5, 11 and 6 plus 4, 10, 11. Okay, clear children. So this is nothing but 111 degrees. So what is the angle ACD? Angle ACD is nothing but 111 degrees. So clear children, everyone understood? Simple logic we are using that is exterior angle property. The exterior angle it should be is equal to sum of two interior angles. Next, in this third one, find the measures of angles. Next, going to the third question. Look at your textbook, everyone. It is very simple and easy. So, third question is find the measure of angles x and y. So, they are given one figure here. So, third question, what they are given? So, in this triangle ABC, we will be extended. We will be extended ABC till the point B. So they are given at B, B is one exterior angle at B, one is exterior and other one is interior angle. So this is X degree, this is 65 degrees is given. Okay, in this 65 degrees is given. Next, same like that only, here Y degree at A, one degree is given. And at C, 30 degrees is given. We need to find X and Y values here. How can you find X and Y values tell me? So, we need to find here X and Y values. So, look at here. Uh, observe the figure. Okay. We know two properties we are applying here. Which property is exterior angle property and linear pair also we are applying. Okay. And also property also we can apply. Nothing will happen. Okay. So, first I am taking AD as a straight line. AD is a straight line. Straight line. Okay, clear? So in this, at B, so AD is a straight line at B. X degree plus 65 degrees is linear pair. It forms a linear pair. Yes or not? X degree plus 65 is equal to 180 degrees. Because linear pair, LP represents linear pair. In previous chapter, we learned already. So X degree plus 65 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. It forms a linear pair. So, x degree keep here only. So, 180 minus 115. So, 180 is subtracted with 115. You will get, sorry, 65 degrees. So, 180 minus 65 is nothing but 115 degrees. So, x degree is equal to 115 degrees. So, 115. So, here you get 115 degrees. So, you got an idea about this one and this one. Okay. And one more we can take here. Which property, exterior property we can use? Yes. So exterior is nothing but what here? 65 degrees. So exterior angle is equal to sum of opposite sides of interior angles. Yes. So y degree plus 30 degrees is equal to 65. So here we are using exterior angle property. We are using exterior angle property. Y degree keep here only. And 30 will be transposed to that side minus 30 degrees. Then y degree is equal to 35 degrees. Okay, children got it? So y degree is equal to 35 degrees. Once check it, it is who sum of all angles in a triangle A, B, C, 180 or not constitute. So angle C is 30, angle A is 35. 30 plus 35 is 65. 65 plus 115 is nothing but 180 degrees. Yes, our answer is correct. Verification is right. So verification angle A plus angle B plus angle not don't write like, like uh, angle B. Angle A 
ABC. I will ABC because I will be split at next angle C. So I will A is how much 35 degrees. And ABC is how much 115 degrees. And angle C is what 30 degrees. So that is 35 plus 115 is nothing but 30. So 35 plus this is nothing but so we you will get 180 degrees. Okay, clear. Next, we are next. Your homework is children. Your homework is exercise four. Exercise four. Exercise four. In that first problem, already explained what is the meaning of interior and what is the meaning of exterior. You have to write down. Next, in fourth question. In fourth question, two problems are there. You have to complete the two problems. First and second one. This is your homework, children. It is very easy and simple for you also. And fifth one also your homework. Fifth problem also your homework. So you have to complete first, fourth, fifth problems. It is very simple and easy for you also. Okay, children. Thank you. We will print in next class.